Hey guys, it's Dean. Welcome to Manful Yoga. Welcome to Members Area Mondays. And this is where I show you one of the more popular workouts from the Manful Yoga Workout Library. Today's workout is ankle mobility for squats. And it's something that so many people overlook. We think of hips, we think of knees when we think of squats, but we don't often think about the ankles. So this workout is focused on helping you improve your ankle mobility, helping you get a better squat, helping you be in better shape overall. So go ahead and check out this clip I've selected and I'll see you at the end. So we're gonna start with the right foot forward. We're gonna bring the left foot back. So very similar to a warrior one, but both feet facing straight forward instead of one facing out. If you have a wall, I recommend using a wall for this. So kind of putting your hands against the wall. So I do have one, so I'm just gonna do that. Putting my hands against the wall, kind of bracing myself on the wall, lifting the arch of my foot. Okay, so if you look at me from this angle and you look at my foot, you'll notice that I'm not letting my arch sink toward the ground, but I'm keeping that arch lifted and the ankle spinning out. Okay, so my arch is lifted, the heel is down, my toes, um, even my toes are somewhat lifted off the ground. And then I'm gonna lean forward a little bit. And if I don't wanna have as much hip opening aspect here, I can put my hands on the wall to lean forward. If you do want that hip opening aspect, you can lean back a little bit like so. And again, I recommend doing this against a wall. So find a wall, point your toes straight to the wall, and we're just gonna hang out here for a little bit. So a nice long stretch on the wall to stretch your calves. Again, ankle spinning out, arch lifted, leaning forward, and just holding this, letting your calf really open up. So again, doing a couple minutes here. So a longer stretch. And you also wanna focus on pushing the knee back. Okay, so I'm not letting that knee, that back knee kinda of sink forward, but I'm working on pushing the knee back and making that leg as straight as I can. And again, this is a little bit different than a warrior one. In a warrior one, traditionally your foot is out at a 45 degree angle. But in order to stretch the calf more effectively, we're gonna have that back foot facing straight forward. The more you turn that foot in, the better stretch you're going to get for your calf. So if you wanna go deeper, you can even turn that foot in a little bit more so that now instead of being slightly pointed out, I'm actually pointed in about 15 degrees or so. All right, that's been a pretty long stretch. If you want to keep holding it, feel free to press pause, but a 90 second, I think we did that for about 90 seconds or two minutes, that's sufficient. All right, next side. So now the left foot is going to go forward. The right foot is going to go back. We're gonna point both feet straight forward, lift the arch of the foot, spin the ankle out, just like we did with the left foot, just like we did in that calf raise exercise, and then kind of lean forward. Tailbone reaches down. If you want to put your hands against a wall so that you can focus on the calf stretch instead of having to focus on everything else, go for the wall. Otherwise, just stay here. And you want to pretend like, again, you can think of a couple things here. We can think of that short foot exercise, so squeezing your toes toward your heel. You can also think of thumbtacks underneath the ball of your foot underneath, uh, sorry, the arch of your foot. So we're trying to keep that arch as high as possible to make sure that we aren't sinking that arch into the ground and avoiding stepping on a painful thumbtack. So that's another way to think about it. Keep the foot facing straight forward. And then if you want to go deeper into this over time, you can work on turning that foot slightly in, right? So as we discussed on the other leg, if your foot is facing out, you're not gonna get as deep as a calf stretch. If it's facing straight forward, it's a nice calf stretch. If you turn it in, it's an even deeper calf stretch. So just depending on your flexibility. And then the more you get that external rotation to your ankle, the deeper that stretch will be for your calf as well. So the calves are the tightest muscle in your body. Think about what you're doing during the day. They're almost always in a position of flexion, right? So they are not extended. Your legs are bent, you're sitting down, your toes are toward your shins. Um, so then they're inactive. So <coughs> calves uh, are very tight and you need to stretch them. 
So, all right, that was enough filler for that stretch. We're going to move on. All right, so next stretch we're going to do, we're going to move into uh, a toe. I don't even know what to call this, but it's a modified down dog. So I'm going to have you start off in a tabletop position with your fingers spread wide, putting weight into the ball mounds of your fingers. And then we're going to tuck the toes, okay? And then I'm going to have you push the tops of your shins toward your toes. So here, we're working on your, uh, we're working on your dorsiflexion, okay? So we're working on reaching the toes toward the shin. And if you want, you can also insert a flat back into this just to make it a little more uh, adherent to technique. And even as you're doing this, you want to make sure that the ankles are spinning out, okay? You want to make sure that your ankles aren't coming in toward one another. And you want to make sure that you're keeping the toes really active, pushing the tops of your shins, the fronts of your shins toward your toes. That's going to help with strengthening. Um, we're strengthening the anterior tibialis here, so that's the muscle in front of your shins as opposed to your calves, which are on the back. So we're using this uh, to help strengthen the anterior tib, but also stretch your calves. So getting a little bit deeper into your calves. All right, and then from here, we're doing the exact opposite. We're gonna bring the knees down, untuck the feet, and then we're gonna get the tops of your ankles as close to the ground as possible. So one thing I like to do for this is to kind of slowly pull your knees forward just a little bit and then press the tops of your ankles toward the ground. Now, if this is feeling really tight in your quads, you can pull up a little bit and then you can just work on pushing the tops of your ankles toward the ground. You can also put a washcloth or a towel uh, just behind your knee to help keep some space in the joint there. All right, guys, thank you for trying out the ankle mobility for squats workout. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see that full workout, you can get it at manflowyoga.com slash seven dash days, part of the Manflow Yoga members area in the Manflow Yoga workout library. Get a seven day trial to access that workout and many more. You'll get unrestricted full access to workout programs to over 80 HD workouts. Uh, diet and nutrition section, community support features, and more at manfulyoga.com slash seven dash days. You can also get the workout itself. If you don't want to sign up for the members area, you can get the workout itself at vimeo.com slash on demand slash manflow yoga. We'll include the link below here. So you can just click it and go in the description. Thank you for watching the video. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit subscribe. We put new content like this out every week, and I'll see you on the next video or on that next workout.